11 year olds on summer vacation aren't usually the most motivated to get out of bed, especially before 9 a.m. So excuse Eli Clary oh, uh, oh, yeah. if he doesn't have his technique quite down. But Eli says this is exactly where he wants to be. To honor the people that sacrifice. Joined by dozens of strangers. I heard it on the news this morning. Welcoming other strangers, but more importantly, heroes home. We all support them and that we stand behind them. From the South Carolina Army National Guard's 1st Battalion, 118th Infantry Regiment, returning from almost a year serving in Kosovo. To show my support for the troops and for their brave and hard work that they do for us every day so that we have the ability to live our lives and spend time with our families. Diane Mullins wanted her kids to take this all in. Have our soldiers go and fight hard every day and put their lives on the line. It's important that they understand that and that they see that that's important. As the red, white, and blue sends greetings. Yeah, they may come down that road and just go straight to yeah. the back. There are no adjectives to describe what Kara Cannon is feeling right now. It is. It has felt like an eternity. She says time away from her husband Eric has only been calmed by these 18-month-old baby blues just like her father's. This is Ryan. She started crawling like a week after he left and then she started walking at nine months. Daddy has missed a lot, but this moment is it. Families crowd in one step closer to the reunion and then The sight which requires no words. A special delivery sealed with the bows of gratitude. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, And Gaffney, for Scene on 7, I'm Demarcus Gaston.